Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be making our way down to Blight Town. But before we do, I want to show everybody we are wearing the spider shield. And yeah, eventually we are going to be putting on the rusted iron ring and trading out our wolf ring. But that'll be a little bit later into the episode. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start making our way to Blight Town. We're going to head up towards the aqueducts here. Just kind of take out these basic enemies here. Not really hard. At least at this point, they shouldn't be too hard. When we get to the end of these aqueducts, we're going to go ahead and talk to the merchant. And we're going to buy a few items from her. gonna purchase 15 purple moss clumps from her five blooming purple moss clumps and then 10 dung pies come again if you please <laughs> Go ahead and take this guy out real quick. Drink an Estus. Come on, bud. It's not who I was aiming for, but... Okay. And then we're going to drop off right here. We don't have to worry about these other guys. This guy can come out, come down, I guess. Both of them, I guess. Right here with the slimes, we're going to pull out our pyromancy flame. Allow them to drop down. Don't try to run by them. They will drop on top of you if so. Er, well, if so. If you try to. There we go. We're going to sit at this bonfire real quick. Just in case we die, we have somewhere to respawn at that's not all the way at Firelink Shrine. I'm gonna fall down right here. Run all the way to the bottom. We're going to use our key to Blight Town to open up the double doors here. Let's 
Slide down this ladder. Slide down one more ladder. We have a big boy right here. Don't try to parry that attack. It's not... You're not going to be able to be parrying. Or it's not going to be able to be parried. But I would parry these guys. I would not try to fight them outright. They hit pretty hard and they'll knock you back whenever they hit you. Which can cause a death because you'll fall off some platforms. Blight Town unfortunately has the effect of having small platforms all through this place they drop dung pies fairly regularly get his attention Stop yelling at me and get your ass over here, bud. Some more dung pies. My advice to everybody is two hand your sword, run all the way over here. To where there's a piece of wall between you. Well, not this, but I'll show you in a second here. You want to be over here, right here. Th this wall is going to protect you because over here we have a guy spitting toxic darts at us. And this is what the spider shield is for. Because it'll prevent us from getting the toxic status. That guy snuck up on me. Oh, there's another one over here. These guys are pretty easy to backstab. They like to jump at you. I guess let's go down. That guy doesn't even notice us. They also drop souls pretty regularly as well. Don't let them grab you. They'll munch on your face like he just did right there. That was unfortunate. I thought I was far enough back, but apparently not. Grab a soul. Go back up the ladder here. We have another enemy right here. You can let them bounce off your shield as well. Before we go up there, I want to show everybody something. Right there, we can see an item. We're going to come back and get that in just a moment. But first, I'd like to take out a few enemies so that we can get a few items. See if he'll come up the ladder. All right, awesome. Sometimes the enemies can be a little janky they'll like start walking up the ladder and then they'll go back down it and then they'll come back up it and then they'll go back down it it just doesn't make sense right here by the way I forgot to talk about this this platform is a or well walkway not platform is a lot lighter than this one that usually indicates it's going to move when you start walking on it so be very careful when you uh, are walking Grab the shadow set right here. Turn around. Grab ourselves a soul. 
come over here. Grab ourselves another soul. These dogs, I like to let them run off over there. Let that guy climb up. And then I roll off. And the dogs will run back. Just makes things a little easier. Right here's a bonfire. I'm not going to sit at it just yet. Just going to light it. Climb this ladder real quick. Got a guy in a pot. And then we're going to come back across here. Grab ourselves another soul. And then we're back up where we started. There's that um, walkway that I was talking about. We'll move on you. We're going to take this walkway. And then right here you see this piece of wood kind of jetting out. You want to aim for this when you're, when you're jumping. If you aim anywhere else, like a little further to the left or the right, um, you're going to either hit that beam or you're just not going to make the jump and you're going to fall to your death. So let's hope that I don't fall to my death. There we go. And as you can see, even then I hit that beam a little bit and it knocked me over. I was just lucky enough not to be knocked off. So we pick up the Ioto, or Ioto, not sure how it's pronounced, to be truthfully honest. Let's go ahead and use a Humanity. We're going to kindle this bonfire because Blight Town is just a mess here. And then we're going to backtrack, maybe. Some Sometimes you'll get hung up on the platforms, which can be pretty janky and annoying because you're just like, oh my god, I just want to get through here. Be very careful. Don't let these guys mess you up. I like to roll and try to dodge. You don't have to uh, do it that way. You can run off this way. There's... A wall right here that'll help you out. We want to walk across this real quick. Get ourselves some blooming purple moss clumps. So if you didn't have enough souls to buy the blooming purple moss clumps at the merchant back there, you can always get three free ones over here. And then here is our platform that is butthole clinching or pathway, whatever you want to call it. It's going to move on us. Hopefully we don't die. Um, I like to just sprint across it and hope for the best. There we go. Stupid dog. And then there's one more. Usually he's not right there when I run across this uh, thing, but apparently he was. Usually they run up after you get across and then you can kill them. But just be aware there are two dogs there. You can see where we need to go over there. We're going to take a homeward bone back so we don't have to run back across that. We already rested at the bonfire so everything's respawned anyways. Let's go ahead and pick up this humanity. And then we're going to use a Homeward Bone. I'll see everybody in a second. All right. Just making sure nothing's up there going to attack me. Off to the left, there's one of those guys again. Be careful. Those dogs spew out fire. That fire does hurt. There we 
go. So over here, there's going to be a guy, another dark guy, shooting at us. What I like to do is I like to run. Dodge these guys. Lure them over here. And fight them. That way I don't have to worry about the dark guy trying to hit me. And then we get the toxic effect or intoxicated or whatever. Um, yeah. Right here we have a weird parasite looking thing. It's the only one in the game. But we could just use a bow to kill it. There we go. Easiest enemy to kill in this whole entire area. We'll grab this uh, item here. Just a soul. What I like to do is I like to... Oh, is he going to come up to it? No. There he goes. That's, that's what I'm talking about. They'll climb up the ladder, then they'll slide back down. Climb up the ladder, slide back down. It's really janky. But it is what it is. Now, be careful. As soon as you come over here, there's a guy shooting darts at you. So be very careful. He's going to try to jump at us. Right here, we'll pick up the eagle shield. Be careful coming through here, just this section here, because sometimes um, an enemy will aggro and you won't realize that, see right here, exactly my point. You won't realize you aggroed an enemy and they'll sneak up behind you and knock you off the platform. Might cause you to rage quit. I know it's happened to me a few times. We're gonna slide down this ladder. We don't want to grab that item yet. We want to come over here. Climb this ladder. Oh, come on. This enemy here. We'll heal up. I like to stay topped off in Blight Town. It just makes things easier. Kill that guy. Oh my goodness. See what I mean about this platforming stuff? Just gets in the way. I'm gonna come down here. We didn't have to take this path. I just wanna show everybody, this is where the chaos bug, uh, or not chaos bug, uh, chaos parasite whatever the fuck that thing is I don't really know the name of it or what it is um, but that's where this thing was and you can kill it this way by coming around and smacking it uh, but I wouldn't recommend it it's an easy way to die right here we're gonna get the power within that's a pyromancy obviously it says it's a pyromancy and then right here we're gonna have a big dude and we're going to have one of those other dudes. I can't see a fucking thing. Worst case scenario right here. Did he fall off? No, he did not. We want to roll off this way. I don't know what hit me, but something poisoned me. There we go. So maybe just lure that guy back 
the the tiny dude and kill him then come back down here and kill the big guy if that's easier for everybody so down there you can see an item we're gonna get that in just a, in just a second I can't speak today I just want to show everybody right here is a ladder to go down so if you don't want this item that I'm about to get which is just a whip um, you can climb down these ladders and continue on you won't be missing much but for those of you that want to grab a whip we're gonna come over here by this torch that's not lit anymore we're gonna hop down we're gonna grab the whip and then I like to step off right about here And then we have chaos bugs. These are actually chaos bugs. I believe that's these things names. Pretty sure it is. So before we go any further, real quick, we're going to put on our rusted iron ring. And our rusted iron ring is going to allow us to run in the swamp without being over encumbered. Like we won't run slowly. We'll actually run at a normal pace. Be careful, you do have another du dart dude uh, shooting at you. My advice is let those chaos bugs fall down and then uh, come over here and kill this guy. They have a chance, by the way, the, all of these guys have a chance to drop blooming purple moss clumps. It's kind of rare, but they do have a chance. Um, right here we have the wanderer set and a falchion. I'm going to level this falchion up to plus 10 later. Um, so I'm going to keep that on my inventory. And we also have the wanderer set. I really, really like the wanderer set. If I don't wear this set, I usually wear that set. That or the black knight set. But the black knight set, I usually don't wear until like new game plus. So... Take out all these chaos bugs. The mosquitoes can be pretty obnoxious in this area. Not really dangerous per se, but just be trying to do something and they're spitting poison at you. Damn, is that a dog? Holy shit, uh, we, from uh, where we killed a dog way up there, fell down. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and use a humanity. We're going to get one back anyways. Because we're about to get invaded. Let's light the bonfire, and then we're going to kindle this bonfire. My legs being all janky. We're going to run up to the top here. Get ourselves a dragon scale. First time I came through here on um, my first playthrough of this game, I was for sure that this was going to be like a boss fight or that was going to be like a mimic or something everybody's telling me oh yeah there's mimics in this game and that just seemed like oh yeah okay this is a trap it's not <laughs> it's not all right we're gonna be invaded by man-eater mildred She's pretty easy. You can get backstabs on her actually fairly easily. You can parry her. Um, there's just a lot of stuff you can do. Of course, I'm like, yeah, you can back, backstab her fairly easily. And then, like, I missed twice. 
And there's Man Eater Mildred. She didn't even harm us. So we get a Humanity. Plus we get three more Humanities. And we get the Butcher Knife. A lot of people like the Butcher Knife. Can't blame them. It's a pretty sweet weapon. Let's go ahead and talk to Quay Lana. Hmm. A mere undead. Yet you can see me. Fascinating. I am Quailana of Isolith. I am not often revealed to walkers of flesh. You have a gift. Are you too one who seeks my pyromancy, like Salomon? Yes, of course. It should be expected. Very well. You shall be my pupil. But to pursue my pyromancy, you must give something up. Are you prepared to do this? Long ago, I accepted another pupil like yourself. Over 200 years ago, there was a man almost as bungling as you. In your world, he was called Salaman, the master pyromancer. The little rascal really made something of himself. Pyromancy is the art of invoking and manipulating fire. But remember one thing. Always fear the flame lest you be devoured by it and lose yourself. I would hate to see that happen again. We're going to go ahead and buy Great Combustion. I'm not going to buy any of these other pyromancies. You're more than welcome to uh, buy them all if you'd like. Undead Report, that is a really good pyromancy. You can essentially cause enemies to be on your side it's pretty cool now go whatever you do do not crack and go hollow lest my time spent on you be wasted and what i mean by the way by enemies being on your side is they'll fight for you These guys aren't too hard. Pretty easy to backstab. Waiting to get some iframes there. Grab the great club. Nice. Drop the pickaxe. It's not often that you get them to drop the pickaxe. Right here we're going to kill this chaos bug. Grab ourselves a soul. I'm not even going to bother with the mosquitoes here. Just let them do their thing. Right here we're going to pick up poison mist. And we're going to get the pyromancer attire. Or armor. Or set. Whatever you want to call it. Over here are some leeches. I like to call them leeches. I don't know if they're leeches or slugs. but I'm not even sure if that's the same thing. But <laughs> they're here. Pick up another soul. These leeches, by the way, are a great um, green titanite farm and a large titanite shard uh, farm. So if you didn't get all the large titanite farmed up, you can always farm them from these leeches is pretty nice ah. 
They're not really hard. Just don't let them group up on you. Then they can be obnoxious. Grab another large Titanite. Go ahead and heal ourselves. Oh, really? Grab the server or sever. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sever, I guess. Sever. Whatever its name is. Oh, you some bitch. Get another large Titanite. Now, I'm going to spend some time down here farming up some large Titanite shards. That way we can level up the Falchion and get ourselves a pretty sweet boss weapon. Pick up the plank shield right here is a secret area this is an illusory wall if we hit it uh we can head that way i'm not going to do that just yet i'm gonna save that for a little bit later into the walkthrough but if you want to explore it feel free But yes, um, I'm going to keep only one boss soul. I know that I've been using um, all the boss souls. Green Titanite Shard, by the way. Um, but I know I've been using all the boss souls to uh, level up with. But Quaylag's boss soul, I'm going to keep. And the reason why is because I want to make a certain boss weapon with her soul. And it's going to take the Falchion to do it. So you'll need nine Titanite shards and you'll need nine large Titanite shards to do that. I have four. So I'll only need five more. Uh, let's rest at this bonfire for just a second. Just to get the poison off. I think I'm going to end the video right here. Um, we got the majority of Blight Town done. We just got to beat Quaylag now and then go on the other side of blight town which is not nearly as hard as what we just went through hopefully everybody didn't have too hard of a time if you did don't give up i believe in you i know you can do it champ and with all that being said i want to start off with saying thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video hopefully you all enjoyed it if you did please hit that thumbs up button if you didn't hit the thumbs down button let me know why down in the comments below it only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to, to, to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a great morning, great afternoon, or great night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.